Okay, so I am recording. So this is a lecture on Photoshop 3, talking about creating layer masks. So at the end of our last episode, aka Photoshop 2 Notes, I mentioned uh, ways that we can protect ourselves from ourselves. So in the sense of making destructive edits. So things that permanently alter your file in a way that you can't undo it. So I mean like if you've closed Photoshop, you've gone about your business and come back, there's nothing you can do. Obviously, control Z is, or command Z is a thing. You can undo things, but I'm saying, you know, time has passed and you're like, crap, I wish I hadn't have done, you know, run that effect or I wish I hadn't erased that part of the document. So a mask is one such way that we can defend ourselves against the, the horrors of destructive editing. So what is a mask? A mask is a layer effect that allows you to selectively make areas of the layer visible or invisible. So it does this in the same way that our uh, specular maps operate and tell us whether our um, object is shiny or dull. So on a spec map, if you'll remember, black or 0% is dull, it's not shiny. White, on the other hand, 100% is shiny on the specular map. So in the same way for masks, if you paint something black, it is hidden. If you paint something white, it will remain visible. So let's say I have this layer here, just white, just white, just white blank page. Then I go ahead and put a mask on it. So what I've now effectively said is I've painted black in this border shape. And so this area of the layer beneath it is no longer visible, just this area in the middle. So again, this top part of my mat is my mask. So I'm saying, can't see anything here, only what's here in the revealed area. So similar to how this looks like this, if you take a look, the layer mask button in the layers panel looks much similar. It looks like a circle punched through a rectangle. And that is the layer mask button. Now, note here where it says, when you press that button, it's going to create an empty layer mask of the selected object. So by empty, that means that the mask will come in 100% white, which means that when you create your layer mask, by default, nothing changes, nothing is hidden. So it is then up to us to paint on the mask and decide what is and isn't hidden. So what does that look like? So we're going to select a layer in the layer panel, click the layer mask icon, make sure we're selected on our layer mask afterward, and then we're gonna fill it in with our brush tool, which is why I reminded you folks about brush tool stuff. So just like with our uh, clone stamp tool, using the brush tool, you're gonna have your brackets to change the size and hardness and softness. Now, we are going to be using these two pictures of Dirty Dan and Pinhead Larry. So I'm just gonna copy my picture of Dirty Dan. Whoops, I hit open, sorry, one sec. Make a new document and create, paste it in. All right. So I'm going to click the layer mask button in the layers panel. Again, it's down here at the bottom right corner. Circle punch through a rectangle. Hit that. All right. So let me zoom in here. You folks can see I have my original layer thumbnail with the image, as well as my thumbnail for the layer mask. And so, like I said, it is empty. So therefore, it is white. Everything is revealed. Nothing is hidden. Everything is revealed. So when you paint black, on the mask, black will hide in that area. So when I go paint black on my mask, you will see it starts to erase the background or hide the background, I, I should say, not erase. And the reason I say that it's hiding but not erasing is if I go and switch back to white, I can go right back in and paint things back to be revealed again. So again, black will hide on the mask. 
while white will reveal. So how do we toggle between editing the layer and editing the layer mask? So as I showed you, when you are selecting between the two, you'll see there's these little white boxes that surround it when you are selecting which one over the other. So make sure you have the right one selected. Now, one thing to note is that you cannot paint in color on your mask. So I have red active, I can paint red on here, whatever. But if I select my mask, you'll see my colors change back to white and black because again, our mask is only black and white. So white area is visible, painting black on the mask is where it will be hidden. So obviously if you want something partially hidden, you would use X amount of percentage of black. So if you want it halfway visible, it's 50% gray. You want it a third is visible, it's 66% gray. I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Let me see. Aha, I was right. Never doubt myself. I'm too smart. So that's that. So for your assignment, you're going to take the two pictures that I have provided for you. I have made a very bad lazy mask here for that one. Let me see if I can make it halfway palatable for Pinhead Larry. So let me go make a new document, create, paste it in. So zoom in nice and close. I'm going to add a layer mask. And I'm going to start with big black brush. Get the majority of this, paint it out. Okay. All right, so then now what I'm going to do is switch over to white, make my brush a bit smaller, but I'm also going to harden my brush, paint white, and start bringing back Patrick, or excuse me, excuse me, Pinhead Larry. And so I'm using the hard brush to make sure that I'm getting my, my lines to be at least close to crisp. We're not expecting perfection, but I also don't want to see pure slop either. You know, give me at least a little bit of effort. Believe me, I will, you will have a hell of a time on the Photoshop 5 one. These ones don't need to be that, that perfect. So then, boom, boom, boom. Cool. Got it. Nailed it. And there's your mask. So I'm expecting those two characters. You mask them, removing the background. Okay? Questions, comments, concerns. And that's masking. Thanks for watching.